Welcome to Y-Hub, the center of your curiosities. Today, we'll dive into one of the great everyday mysteries. Why is the sky blue? A question that seems simple, but hides a fascinating and complex explanation. Since ancient times, this question has intrigued philosophers and scientists alike. The ancient Greeks believed the sky was blue because it reflected the color of the oceans. But today, we know the explanation is very different and involves the physics of light. Sunlight appears white but is actually made up of all the colors of the visible spectrum, as a prism shows us. When this light passes through Earth's atmosphere, it encounters air molecules and dust particles that scatter it. This is where wavelength comes into play. Colors with shorter wavelengths, like blue and violet, are scattered much more than those with longer wavelengths, like red. But wait, if violet has an even shorter wavelength than blue, why don't we see a violet sky? The answer lies in our eyes. Our receptors are much more sensitive to blue than to violet. Additionally, some violet light is absorbed by ozone in the atmosphere. At sunset, the sky completely changes color. Why? When the sun is low on the horizon, its light has to pass through a thicker layer of the atmosphere. The blue and violet colors are completely scattered, leaving room for colors with longer wavelengths, like red and orange. This is why sunsets captivate us with their warm and vibrant hues. Did you know the sky can take on unusual colors like pink or green? This happens during specific atmospheric phenomena, such as the northern lights or particularly clear sunrises. And so, the color of the sky reminds us of how extraordinary our world is. Every day, it offers us a free show that blends beauty with science. If you enjoyed this journey into the world of whys, subscribe to Whyhub, turn on notifications, and join us to discover more curiosities that will make you think. The center of your curiosities awaits you.